Hey everyone, I wanted to make a video here on the updates that I'm doing to my large Delta printer. Uh, this printer is quite large, so I'm going to try my best here to catch it all in the video. If anyone, um, we have some new subscribers and such to the channel, so if anyone doesn't know, this is my large um, three foot tall uh, Delta printer that I built. So it's a thousand millimeter uh, tall. Uh, build area is about 350 by 480 in the Z. Um, this essentially is my workhorse. I use this to basically to print everything. And I just kind of got sick of using the painter's tape and not having a heated bed. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just waiting for the PEI uh, magnetic build plate and my Canovo heater. I am upgrading this printer to use a Meanwell 24 volt 6.5 amp power supply as well as a Omron uh, SSR. That's gonna run my 110 bed. So I have that ready there. I am putting my Rapido. It's gonna have a 0.6 nozzle on it. I redesigned my effector there so I get a 40, 40 millimeter Noctua fan for cooling. I generally only print PLA. I find Noctua fans are totally fine with that. And I'd prefer to have silent uh, printing. I have flipped the printer around. If you have seen any of my previous videos, uh, this printer now, I guess, is inverted. So I've actually designed uh, just some really fast, basic uh, feet here. Just some rubber mounts, make the printer nice and stable. And then that way I get a little bit of space. Just my heated bed is gonna be down here. Now all the electronics will be up top. So my steppers are up here. My uh, SKR board's gonna be up here and then something a little bit differently. I'm actually gonna run uh, this entire printer off of Clipper on a laptop. I'm not gonna be using a Raspberry Pi. So I do have a uh, Lenovo Ultrabook, a Carbon X1, that's going to run this printer as well as my new uh, SimpleCued Ultra once I get that going. So save some money on Raspberry Pis and uh, the interface will be much snappier and that type of thing. I also am able now to move my end stops all the way up to the top here. There won't be any long cables running down the side of the printer. All the wiring should be nice and cleaned up. I'm still going to use my uh, Bontech LGX in Bowden style. I just, for this printer being it's so large, I wanted to keep the head nice and light. I hope to do some really cool time lapses and things like that with the printer. So yeah, I'm just waiting on uh, some build plate parts um, and then I'll most likely do another video of this printer once it's kind of assembled. It's relatively straightforward, very simple to my how to build a Delta playlist that I've done for the other little smaller Delta. Steps are basically the same. The difference is the bed on here and I might make a little bit of a video on how I'm wiring the bed up and stuff like that if people are interested in. Like I say, I'm doing a 110 volt bed on this. I'm not using 24 volts generally because I don't want any fans running. There's no fan in the power supply. I'm trying to keep this printer as quiet as possible because like I say, this is my workhorse printer and I use it to print everything essentially. So we'll do some more videos on this printer here showing off some prints. Uh, I want to do some nice time lapses. Main sale now has time lapse functionality. So I really hope to do some cool vase mode time lapses of this printer, that type of thing. If anyone has any questions on this printer, uh, feel free to comment below. I really appreciate all the new subscribers and look for more videos on this printer coming soon. Thanks everyone.